Hello everyone, today we will change our sign up page or we will make a common page for our sign up inside our library folder, not inside our student or admin folder. As uh, But before that, let's modify our login page a bit. We have created this login page here previously, but if you see that if we don't actually fill up those um, options for admin or student we get some error here undefined index because we have not selected any of these options so it can happen some student or admin can uh, forget to actually fill up these forms so for that we need to actually check one of the option that will be checked beforehand if the even if they actually forget it will not actually show any error instead they will get some wrong uh, username or password error message so here we will just write checked beside the student option now you can see whenever we will go to the login page it will also it will already select the student option but if you want to change it you can change it to admin and if there is uh, actually any error it, we can see that there is no error for any undefined index only the username and password error but you can see we can select a student or admin from here like before so there is no change in there only the change will be that um, we will change student beforehand so that uh, if someone actually forget to select them we don't get the undefined index error because uh, that is actually not an any error you want to show your user okay so we can actually enter into our admin side or student side from here and log out and uh, we come back to the index page in our library folder so now let's go to our registration page as you can see that this is our student side registration page but you know that our registration form is not exactly same there are two different tables in our database and there are two different form for our student and admin so this is why we actually cannot change uh, both the pages uh, to a common page like our login because login has the same uh, two field but inside our registration page it is not the same so that is why we will actually um, make a common page and uh, redirect them after they choose a student or admin so for that we need to have the registration page inside both of our student and registration uh, sorry student and admin page you can see that we have actually deleted our registration page from student side previously but we can actually copy this again inside our student side and paste that page here inside a student folder and also our admin uh, registration page was there because we have not deleted it yet and now what we will do we will change the styling for this registration page outside those two folder inside our library folder so this is our library folders registration.php page we will delete all of this we will just uh, keep a simple uh, box with a two option for selection and a button so let's um, open our registration page and let's change the link first then after this we will move to the next part here we will actually delete all of this because we don't need any of this we will delete everything until okay only the section tag left so inside this section tag we will create our new box so first we will change the styling of our section tag The height will be 630 pixel and the width will be 1350 pixel and then there will be background image and URL inside second quotation we will write our folder name where the image are saved so for that we need to actually have the image inside that images folder so I have the image ready with the exact actually size I have already resized this image in paint software here you go you can see the height and width and now I will just add this f.jpg now if we actually refresh our page we will be able to see it but before that let's add in another styling background repeat no repeat okay now let's refresh it you can see this is our background now after this we will make a small box on this um, page and for that we need to add some styling but before that we need to create that box this is our div box and here we will name the class as box okay now we can add the styling here so we have our styling inside login page we can just copy this part and then modify it there you go the height we will change it 
let's add the height uh, a bit less than the previous one 400 white let's say 450 all right the background color margin opacity everything is okay padding now let's see how it looks okay the box is okay but it is actually with our navigation bar we will add some top margin let's see okay it is actually taking our image uh, downward with it so we cannot add margin here let's see if we increase the padding if it works okay it is not working it is actually uh, working inside that box but not outside that box so what we can do is um, let's add some padding on the top position only okay this is also not working outside that box it will be also inside that box let's just add uh, some break before this deep box and let's see if it works okay it is working so we can just add some more uh, break before this box to make it and um, to take it in the center position okay it's almost in the center so now we can create our options here that is our form we can go to our previous login page and from here we can just copy our form till this part not the whole form just this option part and then after this close the form okay now here you can see all of them are like previous options just here we will write sign up as instead of login as and then all the other things are similar here change the form name and then everything is okay here we have added checked option so student will be checked beforehand okay now you can see everything is as what we actually want but we need to add some styling for our label and here let's add 150 to make the uh, words in the middle position and then after this label here the form weight will be 600 and font size will be 18 pixel okay this is all right now we just need to add a button here and for adding a button we need to do it inside our form add a button tag or input tag you can use any of it there the value will be okay inside the button here this class will be button btn and then btn dash default then after this we will add some type type will be always submit in this case and then name you can name it anything but make sure that this name is not actually overlapping with any other pages as we know that there are navigation bar page in our every page so make sure that there is no other uh, name for our submit button inside our navigation okay this is actually a lengthy process you can just uh, press ctrl f to search for any of the word you want to find you can see unable to find that means there is no other things actually no, no other variable with that name so like that you can search for submit one in any other pages in registration page also we want to search for submit you can see this is the submit we have found and if we search for submit one there is no other variable called submit one so we can actually write it submit one okay now after this what we need to do is add some styling here we will add color that will be black and we will add font weight let's give it 700 and the width of the button 70 pixel and the height of the button 30 pixel now let's save them and go back again okay this is our button we just need to add some space between these two so after this label we will add ampersand nbsp now let's copy this and paste it multiple times now again let's see okay this is pretty much okay but uh, let's add some more let's keep it like this and now we need to work on our php part so after this form after this div tag let's create our php tag and inside this we will actually check if the submit button is pressed or not at first so if is set dollar underscore post submit this is actually your button name 
so make sure you need to write exactly the same name our button name was submit one if it was submit two we need to write submit two as it was submit one so we are writing submit one and now i will just echo the variable dollar underscore post then user the name of the input okay i will see if we can actually get the value from here as you can see if we click on student we get student if we click on admin and then click button we can get admin on the left side okay so after this we can uh, use this variable now so let's copy this variable name and then delete everything now if this variable equal admin then we will direct it to the admin registration page and then else if it is not admin then it will be student of course so let's direct it and for that we can actually again copy the direct code that we have used in our login page here this uh, script tag you can just copy this part okay now let's see here the profile page will be actually changed to to registration page registration.php and then this will be student and then this will be registration and now okay we are getting an error unexpected end that means i have mistaken something on the ending okay i have not actually started php here again and i need to do this for after this script tag in both case okay now if we actually click on this you can see inside the student side registration page we have actually been redirected there and now we can actually click uh, fill up this form and then click on this button but what happens if we click on this button if we click on this button then it will actually submit but we will redirect them to the login file okay there is something actually not edited inside our student file navigation bar so let's modify them first and then i will show you the next part inside the student side navigation page the login navigation we need to find it and make sure the name is changed to the login.php instead of student login.php we need to do this inside our admin login page too sorry admin navigation page so save this and there is no other login option so we will go to the admin side page okay but we if we actually want to send it to the folder outside then we need to make it like that dot dot and a slash mark okay so if we go to the registration page click on the student we are going out of that student folder to the library folder now we are here to actually log in this is okay so if we go to admin and now we need to do this for our admin side as you can see admin login was the name of the page so let's go back to our admin login page admin side navigation page okay we need to do the exactly same thing here also we need to change it to the dot dot then slash and then login dot php we can do this for our registration dot php too but we don't need to actually redirect them from the registration page because we can actually redirect them to the registration page only um, as this page is on already inside our student or admin side page or uh, at that moment so we are not adding this part and are not redirecting them back to the library folder we are actually redirecting them inside the folder that they are already in admin or student so let's check again inside admin side and then we are back to the library folder now if we click on admin again and okay if we go to the sign up page again and go to the student side if we actually click on all of them and fill up all this form input and then click on the sign up page we will actually uh, successfully register but what happens after that we will redirect re this um, user to the login page that is outside our student folder because after registration that person have to login then they can actually request for any book or other things so that is why we will go to our registration page inside the student side and here we have shown uh, some message that registration uh, has been successful so we can actually direct delete this uh, message instead we can redirect them to the login page after this 
okay let's copy this part and paste it here so here in if we are here we need to direct them to the login page not in here so we will add dot dot then slash then login.php after sign up they will login from that page outside that folder so this we need to copy this for our admin registration page also so go to our admin side then registration.php and go to the message here delete this alert and then paste it so now let's see if we can actually fill up this form and click on the sign up page so what happens i'm just giving a random value here actually inside our login page and now if we want to log in from that uh, student information we can as you can see we are actually inside this users profile after they have successfully signed up then they were actually redirected back to the uh, login page then we can actually log in by using that information and now if we go to the um, database and the student um, data, student table you can see this value now we can actually delete this i have just uh, inputted them for actually testing purpose and now we can log out and we are back to the library page so everything is okay till this part next i will show you some other modification inside this admin page form